studio sa lahat ng SSS member borrower na may matagal na balance na hindi nabayaran sa inyong SSS salary loan, calamity loan, salary loan early renewal program, emergency loan at mga restructured loans under the loan restructuring program implemented in 2016 to 2019. Maaari nyo na po itong bayaran na walang penalty under the short-term member loan penalty condonation program of 2021 or STMLPCP. Maaari nyo po itong mabil mula November 15 of 2021 hanggang sa Pebrero 14 or February 14 of 2022. Ilang linggo na lang po para ma-avail ito. Kaya avail na para wala tayong babayaran ng penalty. Sa video nito ito, ituturo ko kung paano gagawin ito. Kaya panu panuorin lamang itong video na ito hanggang sa dulo. So, unang gagawin, let's get started right away. So, unang gagawin, magpunta lamang sa sss.gov.ph, i-click lamang itong I'm not a robot, then click submit. Mag-login bilang member. Gamitin lang ang iyong user ID and yung password. I-click lamang itong I'm not a robot, and click submit. Kung wala ka pang SSS member online account, may separate video tutorial ako kung paano gawin ito. I-link ko lang po ito sa itaas. So, click mo lang itong submit. Pag nakapasok na po kayo sa inyong my.sss online account, i-click lamang po, po ang e-services at hanapin la lamang po at i-click ang apply for loan penalty condonation. If you are um, eligible to apply this, then makikita mo ang ganitong page. Makikita mo dito ang consolidated loan, my condonable penalty, ito po ang i-wave nila, ito po ang hindi mo babayaran. Okay. Ito po, makikita din po yung loan type. If you have salary loan, calamity loan, hindi nyo po nabayaran in one, may sum up lang po dito sa ibaba. At tapos, makikita nyo po yung interest at principal. Sa condonation program na ito, yung babayaran lamang natin yung interest at principal. At may dalawang options tayo para mabel ito. Ito ay one-time payment, isang pagsakan lang, isang bayaran lang, at yung installment. Yung installment po ay yung 50% dapat mo i-down ng buo within 30 days. May makikita tayong due date dito at yung condonable penalty. They divided into half lang po. Yung structured loan pay um, 50% installment, yung half doon ay babayaran natin within 6 months at my first amortization month date dito kung kailan nyo po um, babayaran at kailan ito uh, may end yung due date. And then, reminder lang po, for partial payment or staggered payment of the consolidated loan amount is not allowed even if the required payment is completed within 30 days prescribed period under the one-time payment or 50% down payment. So, ibig sabihin ito, dapat kung pinili mo yung 50% uh, one-time payment, even though within 30 days nakabayad kayo na 50% or something, hindi po i-allow nila yan. Dapat po isang pagsakan po yung bayaran within 30 days. Kahit naman po nagbayad kayo ng 50% and nagbayad kayo another 50% within 30-day period, hindi po nila i-allow yan. Especially if ang pinili mong preferred term ay one-time pay. Dapat isang pagsakan lang po. Okay? And then, basahin na lang po ninyo ng maigi yung terms and conditions, professory note, at certificate, certification and undertaking. I-click na lang po ang agree. In my case, um, ipiliin ko itong one-time payment. And also, there's a note here that a member who is already 65 years old or will turn 65 within the next six months shall be qualified for one-time payment only. Okay? Yung 65 na po or magsis 65 within six months, um, hindi na po kayo makaka-avail ng installment. Kasi yung preferred na or they suggested na one-time payment po ang pipiliin. Okay? So, let's see if We can do this. So let's click agree. Uh, by the way, I changed my mind. I will do this one in installment. Okay. And then now I will click agree. And this will generate a PRN. Let's see if. Okay. Are you sure you want to submit the short term member loan penalty condemnation application? Click submit. And loading Puyan. And this will be your notice of approval. Short-term loan, penalty condemnation program, installment term, 50% down payment of total. So, 7,000 yung dapat pong babayaran. And then, the 50% installment structured loan is 30% per annum. So, what? Hindi po yung babayaran ko per month within 6 months. 
So there's a one percent um and penalty. A penalty of one percent per month will be charged. Okay, and then click na lang po natin yung confirm. And once you confirm this one, you will receive this email for your um Nandito po yung mga attachment of the Corridus Funding Program document in relation to our application. And ito po yung mga um, attachment na ito. Yan po. This is just an example. And then, balik tayo doon. Okay. This is for the loan penalty condemnation. Ito po yung PRN natin. About it too. This will do on February 23 of 2022. You can see here PRN loan. yung PRN loan. And active po siya dito. Dito niyo po makikita yung preference payment number. So, kung babayad kayo through Chica, ito lang po ang input on your loan side. Dito makikita niyo po yung mga information ng yung condition active loan with your okay. So, kada bayan niyo po, iba-iba po yung PRN. Paalala lang po, every payment, especially every due date, iba-iba po yung payment. Hindi po sila dito. Aga-update din po ito. And then, pagkatapos niyan, Turuan ko naman kung paano kayo magbayad online para hindi na kayo lalabas. Please take note of the due date kasi pag hindi nyo nabayaran per month, may 1% na additional po ito kada buwan. Po. Sa buwan na hindi nyo po ito nabayaran. Okay, so yun lang po. Tinatin yung top 10 questions or frequently asked questions based on the pandemic relief and loan restructuring program ng SSS. So, unang tanong, who, um, who type of loans are covered in this restructuring program? All short-term loans na overdue na po. When can we start? Kailan tayo pwedeng mag-apply? As I mentioned, from November 15, 2021 to February 14 lang po yung application ng condonation program na ito. Who can avail of the SSS loan restructuring program? Anyone po who has passed due an SSS loan for at least six months as of the first day of the condonation period. So, for example, six months back po kayo mag-account. If hindi kayo nakabayad six months back, then you are eligible. Anyway, when you open your SSS uh, online account, magkikita naman po kung pwede kayo mag-avail or hindi. How much loan amount are, uh, are we talking about? Yung buong utang nyo po. Okay, yung buong utang, whether it is calamity loan, emergency loan, or even your salary loan. Masasam up din po doon lahat. Okay? What are the payment terms? Well, uh, so pwedeng one-time pwedeng one payment, pwedeng installment over six months lang. Sa so six months installment, yung half po nun ay babayaran nyo po ng buo. Hindi po staggered. Okay, one-time full payment in a single payment transaction. O, ulitin ko po, one-time full payment in a single payment transaction within 30 calendar days from the receipt of notice of your approval of the STML penalty condonation application. So, for example, kayo, ngayon kayo na-approve na within 30 days, dapat babayaran niyo po ito ng buo. If, my, if yung amount na babayaran niyo po is um, 7,000 and you only have 5,000, kulang pa ng 2K, 2,000, Intayin nyo po yung mabuo. Huwag muna nyo pong bayaran ng staggered. Kasi hindi da, tatanggapan niya ng SSS. So, dapat po buo at hindi staggered ang pagbabayad. So, how much penalty will be waived? If you pay on time to fa and follow their instructions, 100% of your loan penalties. Again, 100% of your loan penalties will be waived. Pero, if you have unpaid or late payment, it will be charged po ng 1% penalty per month. So, for example, yung due date nyo ngayon, or the next month, hindi kayo nakapagbayad kasi short eh. Then, my additional 1% penalty po yun. So, and po, what if I availed of the loan, managed to pay the 50% down payment, but could not keep up with the rest of the 6 months payment? So, yung tanong po, is nakabayad ka ng 50%, pero sa 6 months po, the following 6 months, hindi ka na nakapagbayad. My 
penalty po yun. Okay, so what will happen then? So your outstanding um, RL1 will be packaged to RL2 or pro rata penalty that you thought you escaped at 10% interest per year. So instead of na waive na po yung penalty, ngayon magkaka interest ka na ng 10% per annum. So lalaki siya. So make sure po that you are dedicated to pay your due dates. Okay, on your due dates. How to avail of the SSS Loan Coordination Program sa online via my SSS from November 15 to February uh, 14th of 2022 this year. Why I cannot access my SSS that uh, my that the SSS online? So um, the site keeps on crashing. Uh, relax because a lot of people are trying to access the site. I'm try it po, uh, during um, evening or during dawn. No, hindi pa. Uh, hindi pa maraming users ang gumagamit ng page. What about companies who were late on SSS contribution payments due to the many lockdowns? Paano naman kami? So, answer po dyan is SSS also has a programs for you. So, make sure to get updated doon sa SSS page. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. I hope I answered and comment down and uh, um, for those viewers na na alam nila yung mga sagot since uh, there is a volume of messages and comments that I cannot answer because nag lang ako then you can just help me out by just of course answer them so I think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and until next time have a good one